Skippy Gameplay here today with uh, something new and completely unscripted. Today we're going to be doing something completely original and looking at the r slash Zelda subreddit. Um, this isn't really original, I've seen tons of people do it online, but I've never seen anybody really do it with a Zelda subreddit, so let's get started. This one was posted by um, user zero, I think that's supposed to be how it's read. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Haven't seen this one on the sub before, but I think it deserves to live here. Look at this. Look at Link. This is probably the happiest he has ever been in his life. He deserves this. I'm happy for him. Oh, he's cute. If you don't want to defend this Link with every fiber of your being, I think you've got some moral problems you need to get checked out. This, this boy needs to be cherished and protected and loved. Oh, I love him so much. Look at him. Look at that smile. Aw. It's not nice going for the Hylian, uh, Hylian bike there. I like how, um, Inklin's giving him, like, the stink eye right here. That's hilarious. This one is by, uh, Skumo Comics. It's, uh, who I say my childhood crush is. And it's a picture of, uh, Mila Kunis in, um, that 70s show. And then it's, uh, on the bottom it says, uh, who she really is. And it's, um, it's, it's, uh... It's it's the game operator in Majora's Mask uh, with um with the checkerboard game, and um familiar feelings. I'll just say that. Here's an interesting tidbit of information. Um, I actually sort of knew this before because I've actually seen um this sort of comparison before. But if you didn't know that Ganon's Sword was actually from the uh, was it a Space World demo for the GameCube? I believe it was Space World 2001 or something that they showed off this demo that a lot of people thought was going to be like the next Zelda game. Like people were extremely convinced that the newer Zelda game at that time was going to be uh, sort of caddying off of this style. But um, it's it's pretty cool that they actually brought the weapon that Ganon was using in that demo uh, into Smash Ultimate. It was pretty cool. Uh, this was posted by Atomic. Thanks for making me say that. No, but honestly, it's a really cool tidbit of information. Leave a like if you didn't know that. I really like this one right here. It's um, it's called uh, Link Stranding. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a little play on a uh, Death Stranding, which is uh, the new Kojima game that's coming out here pretty soon. And um, I like what they did. They got like his uh, backpack here, like it's the baby that um. I don't know, it's, uh, I forget the name of the guy that plays him, I know he was in, uh, Boondock Saints and The Walking Dead, but, yeah, I like this a lot, it's really cool. I think they did a great job on this. This is by, uh, Action Cancel. Yeah, it's pretty good. This one isn't so much a meme as much as it's a beautiful, adorable, adorable rendition of, um, of, uh, this is a Guardian, <laughs> duh. This is by, uh, I'm Drunk on Tea. Uh, I drew a small guardian. Very good. I like it very much. Thank you. This is another really adorable art piece. This one's done by uh, Ensar. Uh, Link serenading the animals, and yeah, I, I, I um I recently just finished Link's Awakening on my own pro uh, playthrough, uh, the remake, and um I don't know. I really like this. It's adorable. I like his little ocarina here, and the bunny's giving him just the cutest little smile here. I like it a lot. Oh, this was just chilling on his hat. This one's done by Crandoy, and it's If the Photographer Was Still Around. Um, they're a little bit off um, off style here with the drawing, but I, I still think it looks fantastic. And personally, I actually kind of like the photographer in the games. I know a lot of people found him like quite annoying just popping in and asking to take photographs and stuff. But I like the little pixel art pictures that he'd come up with. Some of them were just fantastic. I like this one especially. Everybody's got a huge smile on their face. Link looks a little more serious here, but Marin's still got that gigantic grin on their face. Fantastic art piece. When I see stuff like this, it's absolutely apparent that a lot of the people in this subreddit have incredible talent. Uh, three part Zelda Link vs. Ganon set in feudal Japan. This is by Nilakuma and I, these are just gorgeous, fantastic job. I like the fire effects he put on like Ganon and I like the katana that Link's holding, it's super cool. I like how Sheik's just standing in the background there looking all, looking all awesome and stuff, man look at that. 
Maybe I, I'm gonna get demonetized because of all this blood running down Ganon's face. Oh no, there go my viewership. Just kidding, it was already gone. This one's called, Some Arguments Cannot Be Won. Mom, literally anyone, you can't pause online games. Mom, you shouldn't be online in the first place. Anyone regretting everything for starting an argument. Yeah, this is this is a mood right here. As as the kids say, it's a it's a mood. Ha ha ha. Sorry for the fake laugh, but no, this is actually a pretty clever meme format. I'd like to see this more often. This right here was done by a uh, Hyrule Wastelander. Uh, they sculpted some of these trees that are um, <clears throat> from Link's Awakening. I think it's really cool what they did here. I like how they also sculpted the crow here. That's really cool. I like the smoke effects as well. It's also really nice. I don't know. It fits the whole super cool Spooktober slash. Um, sort of toy-like atmosphere that the Blink's Awakening remake sort of goes for. I, I like it. It's. I also like the little smoke trees in the background. That's a really nice touch. <laughs> the only truly being worthy of the Master Sword. And it's the goose from Untitled Goose Game, dude. That's hilarious. He's <laughs> just like, I am ready to slay Ganon at whatever cost. What did it cost? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> in honor and memory of loops when will the loops be ready brother kind of a dead meme but um definitely more relevant now than ever since we just recently lost our precious sister the loops cat um she will be missed but this is definitely a clever meme this was posted by pokemon trainer brayden four days ago thank you very much this is fantastic. Here's another post that would have taken extreme talent to make. Uh, this is a, a wallet that this man made for his wife, or this woman made for their wife. It's fantastic. <clears throat> uh, they did a lot of awesome leather work here, I can tell, because they like embroidered this uh, Hylian crest on here. And I like the little rupee there because it's a wallet and stuff. That's really cool. I think they did a fantastic job. I love all the talent that I'm seeing in this subreddit right now. So this post is by Anne and Anna. Uh, me and my sister tried to draw Zelda characters from memory. Guess who? I can absolutely tell you who these are. These are the Yetis from Twilight Princess. And boy, are they fantastic. <laughs> I love what's going on here. What? <laughs> he looks like a peanut. It's adorable. And then he's just like, I had to do it to him. I like these eyes of just pure rage. Pure rage. It's so great. Uh, th they got the teeth right, and they got the beaver tail right, and his feet are like absolutely a size 24. Gigantic. My second tattoo, Kirby chasing Link. This is really good. Usually I'm so used to seeing like terrible tattoos of like fan stuff, but this has actually turned out pretty good. I like this. Oh, Kirby, he's adorable right here. <laughs> now people are gonna like clip that noise and turn it into something completely different. <laughs> What? Here we have a Ganondorf uh, rendition in the Link's Awakening style. Uh, it says Ganondorf Link's Awakening style. This post is by Timaki. And I think this is absolutely what Ganondorf would look like in Link's Awakening. And it sort of uh, reminds me of a conversation I had on stream with a couple viewers of if they were to release DLC for um, Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch and what they'd possibly do with it. Um, if it's like free DLC, I thought like they just add more like chamber stones and stuff that you could put into Dampy's little chamber maker. But I think if they were to do some sort of paid DLC with like extra maps and game modes and stuff, I think they'd definitely sort of bring back some other sort of antagonists from the Zelda franchise. And I think this would be very cool if they were somehow able to, well, not like I wouldn't say like able to because they definitely have the power to, but if they were to go with that approach, I think it'd be super cool if they like sort of remastered like Link's Await, no, not Link, they already did Link's Awakening. If they remaster like Oracle of Ages and Seasons, and then like they had like the fusion boss of like Ganon at the end, and like before you he turned into like Ganon, you'd see like this version of Ganondorf. I think that'd be really neat. And uh, Twin, uh, uh, were they called Twin Rova? I think there was a Twin Rova boss fight in the linked version of Oracle of Ages and Seasons. And then you fought Ganon, and it'd be cool to see Twin Rova come back as well, especially in this sort of Link's Awakening style. I'd love to see that, and I just th this sort of gives me a little bit of hope for it. it it's not like f official or anything, but it, it's really nice. I like it a lot. I really like what they uh, do with this little magic here, and they got a little uh, looks like a little crack in his little gem here. It's real cool. Society, women aren't objects. The Legend of Zelda. You got Marin. Is this your big chance? This is titled, I'm loving how a remake of an old game has meme properties in today's world. 
This post was uh, posted by Slicer Leo, and I've actually seen this meme go around a couple times, but it never gets old. Here we have a post by uh, Play Creative. It says, Legend of Zelda wallpaper, beetle wooden toy. Um, I think this is fantastic. They must have done this in like Blender or something to get the background right and stuff, but I don't know. It's like Beetle from Breath of the Wild, but in like Link's Awakening style. I think it's fantastic. And I like the little uh, stag beetle floating up there. He's all golden and stuff. That's real cool. I like how he's got his little little uh, little table here that he holds around. He's like, hey, you want to buy something? He's so happy. Aw, look at him. I never really noticed this before. Does do he normally have this, like this little uh, sort of antler type thing going off of his little shop that he carries on his back? I don't necessarily remember that. Leave a comment down below if I'm just mistaken or something. This one was posted by Shadow the Dog, and it says, such a tease. Uh, when Link's Awakening runs at 60 FPS for a second, don't do that. Don't give me hope. <laughs> That's actually kind of controversial because a lot of people on the internet were freaking out because Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch sometimes has like a slowdown, especially in the marsh area. It's kind of awful, but only in that area does it really bother me. I've never really had a gigantic issue with the frame rate problems, but I know a lot of people were extremely upset about that. And I, I don't know, I personally didn't really care very much since, hey, Two years after the last Zelda game, yes please, I definitely want another Zelda game. If they like announced another like 2D remake of a Zelda game, I'd be all over it. I don't really care about the frame rate, personally. I sort of expected it from the Nintendo Switch, but um, yeah, a lot of people had problems with that, and I didn't really see why. This one was posted by B Shaman. Uh, well, excuse me, princess, baby boy, baby. It's a little picture of him. <laughs> Skyward Sword Link and then Evil and it's the was that a Saturday was that a Saturday morning cartoon? But no, I've actually seen this show. I used to watch it a lot as a kid and I actually really liked it back then, but a lot of it does not hold up nowadays and it's a lot it's very fun to look back and laugh at it. Let me know if you guys want to do like like a live stream where I watch through the cartoons or something. I know another a couple other people did live streams and stuff about that and I've been meaning to give my thoughts and opinions on the animated series, but it's um hasn't really come to fruition yet. I'm starting to just dabble in this new type of content. Here we have a little animation of Link and Syrup uh, from the little witch's hut in Link's Awakening where she makes the magic powder and stuff. Uh, this is by uh, Tikachu. Uh, I animated my favorite scene from Link's Awakening. I actually really like the, the, the music inside the witch's hut. It's probably one of my favorite um, songs in pretty much the entire Zelda franchise. That and probably like the Serenade of Water. But um, no, this is really cute. I really like the art style they put on this. Um, <laughs> Syrup's eyes look a little bit... Uh, dead but <laughs> I like the I like it I like it a lot I like uh, the little uh, light effects I got going on with this um this candle here and it's like pulsating light every time the gif circles through it's really cool <laughs> I can tell what they did here they replaced all the t all the fence textures with uh Link's Awakening like it is <laughs> It's fantastic. <laughs> Preparing to raid Area 51. This one's by Link3224. Oh, I'm so creative. I love this. Okay, now I think I know what happened to the face from Nick Jr. I remember that face. It's so nostalgic. and <laughs> it's, so, it's so similar. <laughs> that boss was such a pushover, though. <laughs> this one is um, by, um... Liot, and it says Link had never seen such BS before. <laughs> this has happened to me so many times in the on the, on the Crane mini game in Link's Awakening. I I hate it when this happens where it just like lands right on the edge and the conveyor belt just isn't strong enough to pull it to the edge there. I hate it so much. It's a it's a new level of frustration that only 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 true men will understand. Uh, Chris W says I made this for the release of Link's Awakening. I like it. I like it a lot. I like like the 2D flat art style. It reminds me of this uh, Flash game I used to play. It was like The Legend of Zelda and the Lamp of No Real Significance, where it's like these plain 2D um, sprites and it's just Link walking around with a lampshade. Oh, it's the lampshade of no real significance. <laughs> and um, the ending of the game is he literally just puts the lamp on a stand and he says, the feng shui in this room has been oh, something. <laughs> it was just like, oh, the feng shui in this room is now perfect. 
is <laughs> it's so stupid. But uh, this uh, it really reminds me of it. I like the little Goomba just chilling in the background there. And I think they did a really good job with this. Good job, Chris W. Anyway, I think I'm going to have to end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you really enjoyed this new style of content, please make sure to leave a like and possibly comment on more, I don't know, specific thoughts? Give me, give me some real specifics here of what you liked about this, what you didn't so like about this, what do you guys think about the editing in this video. Haven't really done that yet, sort of just recording at this very moment, but I'm sure I'm going to be putting a lot more effort into editing this video creatively than uh, a lot of my other videos. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I can't wait to see you all the next thing I do, and I'll see you all later.